Hi guys, LA Castro here back again with another brand new video. Here to give you tips and tricks to jumpstart your life. This video is about money mistakes I made that you should avoid. But before I proceed, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button so that you will not miss any of the videos that I upload. If you've done it, let's go on with our topic. During my elementary and high school years, uso pa ang hulog piso nung time na yun. Hihingi ako ng pera pang laro o kaya pag may spare coins ako, ilalaro ko yun instead of saving it. And during college, kapag may vacant time ako o kaya after class, not only I wasted my money but also I wasted my time. Di naman masama ang paglalaro ng computer games. Pero kung sobra na, yan ay nakakasama na. 15 pesos per hour ang rate ng internet shop. Pero kapag promo, sa 30 pesos mo, makakalaro ka na ng 3 hours. So, mas pinili ko yung mag-extend na lang. Pero lugi pala talaga ako. Let's do the math. In my mind, yes, nakatipid ako. But in reality, I spent another 15 pesos. Invest na savings na sana yun, naging expenses pa. Di naman ako sobrang addict sa computer games. Pero na-realize ko na kung inipon ko yung perang ginamit ko sa paglalaro, malaki na siguro yung naipon ko ngayon. We should know how and when to set a limit. Money can be found naman, but you can never buy time. Time is on your side. Habang maaga pa, save as much as possible. And don't forget to invest it wisely. Sa mga nakakakilala sa akin, alam nila kung gaano ako katipid. Or should I say, kuripot, but in a good way naman. Pero paminsan-minsan, I tend to live above my means. Bumibili ako ng mga bagay na di ko naman pala gagamitin. In connection sa paglalaro ng computer games, pag receive ko ng allowance ko and naitabi ko na ang savings ko, what's left is for my expenses na. Now, pag minsan di pa natatapos ang laro, especially pag Dota na almost one hour yung single game, pag kaubos ng time ko, manghihiram ako ng pera sa aking kaklase o kalaro para makapag-extend. Pagkabukas, kukuha ako sa savings ko para ipangbayad ng utang ko. Another expenses na naman. And talking about living above my means, I recently splurged a lot. Napasobra yata yung pag-treat ko sa aking sarili. Nag-start ito noong March 2020. So, ito ang mga nabili ko. The ergonomist laptop table, a helmet, a muffler, gloves, and knee guard. Mala ko pa bumili ng bagong motor, pero hindi muna dapat. Puunahin ko muna yung mga priorities ko bago yan. Kasi naging passion ko na rin ang pag-moto vlog. Someday, uh, lilibutin ko yung buong Pilipinas gamit lang ang motor. By the way, insert ko lang. Please support my other channel, King LA TV. Ilalagay ko ang link sa baba. So yun, back to the topic. In short, I overspent. May savings nga ako pero di ko pala namamalayan na sumobra na pala sa limit. And in connection to this, we proceed now to the third money mistakes I made which is I do save a lot but I do not track my spendings or my expenses in an app or Excel or even in a notebook. It's all in my mind. I allocate a portion after I receive my income or my allowance. Pero di sapat ang ganyang paraan. Not tracking my expenses made me a huge spender. Di ko na na-notice na naapektuhan na pala yung mga investments ko. You must keep an eye on where your money goes. Maraming apps dyan na pwede mong i-download. I personally use this app, Money Manage Expense and Budget by Realbyte Incorporated. You can use different money tracker or manager apps. Explore lang ninyo and choose what's best for you. 
It is really important to track your spendings and your expenses. Mas importante pa yan kaysa sa pagmamonitor ninyo sa savings ninyo. Having a spending plan helps you budget well, organize your savings, and your spendings. It keeps you control with your money, and you will know how to prioritize needs and wants. It makes you aware what's going on with your money, and it keeps you focused on your money goals. Marami siyang benefits. Parang nagdo-domino effect lang lahat kapag may plano ka kung saan napupunta yung mga pera mo. Merong advantages at disadvantages ang paggagamit ng credit card. One mistake I often commit is using a credit card when buying something. When in fact, I have cash on hand. Convenient sa akin ang paggagamit ng credit card. And yes, it will earn me points. But I do have cash available. Now, why use credit card when you have cash? Ang mangyayari kasi kapag credit card ang gagamitin natin, magagamit natin ang cash to purchase something instead na pambayad na sana yun sa credit duty. In effect, nababawasan ka agad ang next sweldo mo. Nangutang ka na nga sa banko, ipangbibili mo pa yung cash na ipang babayad mo sa utang mo. There's nothing wrong when using a credit card. Be careful lang talaga sa paggagamit and always manage it properly. Use it wisely and be disciplined. And last but not the least, the fifth and the sixth. I was exposed sa networking business during my third year college. I'm not saying that it was a scam I believe it's a multi-level marketing business or MLM. I learned a lot from that experience though. It opened my mind sa mundo ng entrepreneurship, business, investing, and other things. And on that year also, stock market was introduced to me. Gusto kong mag-invest that time, but yet I don't have the proper knowledge that time. And di pa sapat yung naipon kong pera. Tapos di ako masyadong nag-aaral about sa mundo ng investing. Tapos di ako masyadong nag-aaral about investing kasi nahahati yung oras ko sa school. Pero on the year 2015, fourth year college, I decided to invest. I wish I learned those things at an early age. But still, I'm glad that I started. So I suggest you learn first and invest early. But before you invest into something, you should have the proper knowledge. If you want to invest in stocks or start a new business, kailangan mo talaga pag-aralan yan ng maigi, especially the basics. Mahirap kapag di mo alam ang mga pinasukan mo. Marami ngayon ang nagsisilabasa ng mga get-rich-quick scheme, mga investments na nag-o-offer ng easy and fast money. Before ka pumasok sa mga ganyan, Alamin mo muna ang sistema nila at paano ka kikita dito. Baka piramiding o ponzi scheme na ang pinasukan mo. So, I will end this with a quote. 